And why can't people be left alone to live their lives how they want to, from owning a gun to going to the church they want? Why, in your book, why, why can't people be left alone to do what they want to? Uh, well, A, because there's too many people. <laughs> and they're all jerks. But the other thing is, there's, we've, uh, we've made uh, phony concern in raising awareness cool. Uh, it's, uh, it used to be like I, you watched Bewitched, that nosy neighbor Gladys, was that her name? <laughs> that was just like she was the nosy neighbor. But now that nosiness is now raising awareness. People can get into your face and tell you how to live your life. Uh, um, I talk about e-cigarettes a lot. The reason why <laughs> e-cigarettes are under fire is because they're mistaken for some other behavior. It's not, there's no smoke. There's no tobacco, there's, uh, there's just nicotine, but it's because it appears to be like another behavior that is upsetting to these, to these raising awareness freaks who feel that like, I know it's not like that, but it, it, it's li it, it looks like that and that should be enough uh, to, to have it taxed or to have it banned. Um, and I, I always, use, I go, well, if that's the case, then we should ban cross-dressing because if you're walking down the street and you see an attractive woman and it turns out to be a man, that is unfair. <laughs> and then it's, you know, it's, uh, speaking from experience, uh, it could be really shocking. The upside is if you roll with it, it could be okay. <laughs> I mean, you know what? You, at night, you're drunk, doesn't matter. 